Welcome back to the SAP Navigation course for S4HANA. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify characteristics of navigating with transaction codes and recognize special transaction codes. But first, the business scenario. There are several ways to navigate within SAP. As you continuously use specific transactions, you want to access the system using transaction codes instead of navigating through the SAP menu. Using transaction codes is a faster, direct route to accessing the necessary screens to perform your job functions, and thus the need for you to learn how to find the transaction codes you use daily. Transaction codes are a great way to navigate the SAP system as they provide quick shortcuts for launching a transaction. Transaction codes are typically four characters long, such as FB01, to enter a financial posting. But there are many exceptions to this general rule. Just remember that each transaction in SAP has its own unique transaction code. You can start any transaction by entering its transaction code into the command field in the upper left corner of your SAP screen. In the previous lesson, you learned how to navigate the SAP menu tree using your mouse and keyboard. Now you'll learn how to use transaction codes. Let's go ahead and open the accounting menu, followed by the financial accounting menu, followed by the accounts receivable menu, and finally, the document entry folder. Let's launch transaction code FB70. Great, you have learned how to navigate your way through the SAP menu to enter a customer invoice. Remember, you can always see the transaction code you're currently executing by looking at the information field in the top right corner of your screen. Click the exit button to return to the SAP menu. As you can see, searching through the SAP menu can often be very time consuming, especially for transactions that you run often. That's why every transaction has a shortcut code referred to as the transaction code. Instead of navigating through the menu, you could have used the transaction code in the command field. Most transaction codes are, again, four characters, but in the most current SAP releases, they can be any length. You can enter the transaction code directly in the command field. Notice how each transaction in the menu tree to the left has its own transaction code listed. For example, transaction code FB75 to enter a credit memo. It does not matter if you use upper or lowercase letters. Entering FB75 in this manner is the same as entering FB75 in this manner. Let's launch the F-28 transaction using the hotkey slash N to start a new session window, followed by the transaction code F-28, followed by the enter key. Excellent. As you can see, that was a much faster way to launch a transaction than navigating through the SAP menu tree. Another great feature is that you can jump from one transaction to another without having to use the menu tree at all. To launch a new transaction in this same window, we can close this transaction and launch the new one by using the slash N hotkey. For example, slash N FB70, when I press enter, the current transaction, F-28, will be canceled, and the new transaction, FB-70, will be launched. All within a single session window. And I never had to use the SAP menu tree at all. We just reviewed the slash N hotkey, but there is another hotkey referred to as slash O. To keep the current transaction running in your current window and launch a new window with a new transaction, we'll use the slash O hotkey plus a transaction code. Now let's review a few special transaction codes, the first of which is slash O. This is the letter O, not the number zero. When typing transaction code slash O and pressing enter, SAP will provide a pop-up menu. This pop-up window will show you the number of sessions or the number of windows you currently have open. In this case, I only have the one screen open in SAP. You can also use the slash N transaction code to cancel the current transaction code and return to the SAP menu. Using the slash N is a shortcut to using the exit menu to exit a transaction. 
transaction code slash I is a shortcut to log off the system. Again, you will always be warned that unsaved data will be lost. Okay, let's try one more. Transaction code slash NEX will log you off SAP immediately without the usual confirmation question. As you can see, I logged out of SAP with, without the usual pop-up warning indicating that unsaved data will be lost. Well done. We have completed this lesson and you should recognize the special transaction codes as well as the characteristics of navigating with transaction codes using the command field.